Hi guys! How are you doing? Today we're going to draw and colour in some pictures. Okay, let's get down to work. First, I'll draw the picture with this pencil. Can you guys guess what it is? Come on guys, you can do it. What is this? That's right, it's a beach umbrella. And now we retrace the lines using a black marker. So that it looks much better and that it stands out. See? Perfect! This looks great, wouldn't you say? OK, now let's colour it in. Let's begin with the colour green. <laughs> it's such a beautiful colour. I just love it. Hmm, which one should we use next? This one. Do you know what colour this is? It's the colour purple. You know, like grapes. Grapes are purple. And now we're going to use this one. Can you guys guess the name of this colour? That's right, it's the colour yellow. Yellow like the sun. Wow, our beach umbrella is going to be so beautiful and so lively. Let's keep going. What colour is this, guys? Can you guess it? Yes, you got it, it's the colour blue. And this one is the colour red. <laughs> Here we go. This is so cool. And finally, mm, which one should we use? I say we pick the colour orange. <laughs> I think our umbrella looks amazing. I love the colour combination. OK, now we have to colour in this stick. So why don't we use the colour brown? Perfect! <laughs> wow, this is such a cool umbrella. What do you say we draw some other stuff? OK, here we go. Let's see if you guys can guess what I'm drawing now. <laughs> what could it be? Yeah, that's right, it's the sun. And that's why we're colouring it in yellow. Okay, come on, let's keep going. What else should we draw? Mm, can you guess what this is? Oh, mm -mm -mm. uh, I think you might know right now. Yes, you got it right. It's a sand bucket <laughs> for making sand castles. And let's colour it in purple. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, um, what else can we draw? Mm, what could this be? Oh, it's something really yummy that we usually have in the summer. Yes, it's an ice cream cone. And this is a strawberry and vanilla ice cream cone. <laughs> okay, uh, what else should we draw? Um, let's see. Who can guess what these are? These are great for walking on the beach. Do you know what these are? Yes, you got it right. It's a pair of flip-flops. <laughs> and they're green. These are so cool. Um, what else can we draw? Mm -mm. Do you know what these are? I'll give you a clue. It's for breathing underwater. Have you guys guessed it? Yes. It's a diving mask and a snorkel. So that we can see the fish underwater. 
Okay, can you guess the last object? I'll give you a clue. It's a playing on the beach and it's so much fun. Yes, it's a pair of beach paddles. And a ball too. <laughs> this is amazing, guys. It's so much fun playing with them, isn't it? Well, I think this might be it, guys. We have so much stuff that we can take with us to the beach. Do you think we've forgotten about anything? You can tell us in the comments what things you like taking with you to the beach. Hi, guys! Check out the picture we have here today. That's right. These are the animals that live at the bottom of the sea. We'll have a great time and learn so many colours. Let's begin with our friend the starfish. We'll colour it in orange. I love this colour. And starfish come in many different colours. Yellow, orange and even black. Ooh, we love colouring in pictures. And if they're about the bottom of the sea, all the better. OK, we have to be careful when colouring in because we don't want to colour outside the lines. Here we go. Perfect. We're done with the first one. <laughs> I'll just add some details in the colour dark orange. Ta-da! It's finished! Do you like my starfish, guys? Ooh, what Disney character does she remind you of? It's from the film Finding Nemo. Okay, guys, let's colour in the next character. This one is an octopus and I'll colour it purple. <laughs> See, check it out. Let's also colour in the eyebrows and now the rest of the body. This character reminds me of another character that was in Finding Nemo. But the octopus that was in that film was red. You know, Hank, who was in Finding Dory. <laughs> That's right. Oh my god, we know so many different characters. Check it out, our octopus Yay! looks fantastic. And now I'll colour in the puffish. It's so big, isn't it? <laughs> it looks just like a balloon. It puffs up when it gets scared. But don't worry, it won't explode. <laughs> okay, we'll colour it in green I love the color green it's such a beautiful color okay and now let's color in the little details we use a darker shade of green for the eyes and for the fins here we go oh this reminds me there's also a puffer fish in Finding Nemo yeah because Nemo lives at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Do you know the name of this character? It's called Bloat because it's a puffer fish. Yay! Check it out, guys. We're going to colour in these little pricks. And ta da! Here it is. Oh my god, our picture's looking great so far. Okay, now let's colour in the crab. Crabs are red, so that's the colour we'll use for our own crab. This is a very easy character to guess. It stars in The Little Mermaid. And it can sing. Beautifully, by the way. Do you know who I'm talking about? If you do, let us know in the comments. The crab's name starts with the letter S. Okay, and now we colour in the legs. See? Three on this side and three on the other side. And then we'll colour in the pincers. There. Here we go. 
And now the pincers. See? <laughs> okay, and now the eyes and the pincers for colouring grey. This is going to look amazing, guys. Okay, here's the first one. And here's the other one. We have to be careful not to colour outside the lines, guys. Yay! Oh my god, we're so good at this! Okay, four down, one to go. Check it out, it's a little fish. I'll colour it in yellow. <laughs> Look! Here we go. We colour in the face first. There. And now the fins. I'll colour it like a really famous fish. Do you know who I'm talking about? It's to do with the crap from before. You know, the one whose name started with an S. Yes, I'm talking about the most famous Disney fish. It's Flounder, Ariel's friend. Well, I'm going to colour in my fish just like flounder. See, I use the colours yellow, blue and now green. It'll look amazing. You'll see. Here we go. Almost on. <laughs> there. Finished, guys. We're finished with our five characters. Now let's colour in the bubbles because they are at the bottom of the sea. Ooh, our picture is looking great, guys. Ooh, there are so many of them up there. Let's also draw some waves. This is so much fun, guys, and we've finished our picture. We love colouring in pictures. There's an octopus, a pufferfish, a starfish, a crab and a fish. See you soon.